what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope everyone is doing great man so basically this video is a continuation to my the mysterious stranger the number 44 video series i've been making on barack obama the 44th president and to be honest we have quite an information for you guys man stick with me throughout the entire video to basically comprehend everything man this video will be uh, I'll be explaining a little bit more on the connections to uh, Lil Deck. Basically, Lil Deck's family, man. Just stick with me. Stick with me, man. Stick with me. Because I hate it when people just watch um, a portion of my video and, man, they just leave, man. Because every single video corresponds to the other video I drop. Because I have... I basically have... Um, an in-depth connections of what i do man every single video has an in-depth connections to what i do in the other video that's what i'm trying to say uh let me keep going to help you guys comprehend and as i stated the video is gonna be on the topics of the number 44 the mysterious stranger in connection to Lil dex family in and a little uh on Lil Dex Big Bros, uh, sorry, Lil Dex Big Bros, uh, sacrifice and man, let me keep going, let me keep going. I don't want to talk much. Just try and stick with me or try and watch the entire video, man, because I have mind blowing information for you guys. To be honest with you, man, I'm not making shit up. To be honest with you, I have mind blowing information for you guys. Let me keep going. So basically, I've made mention of the book. The number 44, The Mysterious Stranger, written by uh, Mark Twain. Basically, Mark Twain was amazing, man. I don't want to talk much on Mark Twain, but if you've been following the series, I've done so many connections to Barack Obama, the 44th president, and man, let me keep going. And I'll also be talking about Obama, the O, the O in Obama, man. So stick with me. I have so many connections I have for you guys. The O in Obama, man. I also made mention on Obama's book, A Promised Land, which was basically released on November 17th, 2020. Basically, last year. And if you watch on the ratings of the book, on the ratings of the book, man, one of, one of the ratings has uh, 4.4, basically 44, Obama, the 44th president, the number 44, the mysterious stranger. And as I stated, the book was released on November 17th. Basically, no November 17th is the 312th day of the year with 44 days. 44 days to the end of the year. 44 days to the end of the year. Man, they know what they are doing, man. To be honest with you, they do it by the numbers every single time. As I, as I, um, I've always been saying, they do it by the numbers every single time. So basically, 44 days to the end of the year. And the 44th president dropped his book, which basically got 4.4 rate. Come on, man. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. Man, I said the book was released on 322nd day of the year, basically 322, which correlates to Skull and Bone, the secret society, which the headquarters is located in Yale University. They have a branch in Harvard. Basically, so many elite universities. And in case you didn't know, uh, Barack Obama attended Harvard University. And man, I don't want to talk much, man. There's been so many sacrifices and death connecting to the skull and bones. Uh, and there are so many. There are so many uh, presidential figures who were skull and bones members. In this picture, you can see George Bush. Uh, basically, George Bush's dad here. Yeah. You, you get what I mean, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Let me keep going, man. It's crazy. And I told you guys, Obama's book, A Promised Land, was basically published by... Sorry, the name of the head of the publishing company that published Obama's book. Uh, the name is David Drake. David Drake. And I've told you, I've told you guys about the DD... 
the D D D is the four letter of the alphabet. So D D forty four four forty four connecting back to the mysterious stranger man. I told you guys they do it by the numbers every single time, man. And I told you, uh, I told you guys Obama. Uh, used to be the senator of Chicago, Illinois, in I think ninety seven or ninety six, man. From ninety seven or ninety six or so, if I'm correct. And I also made mention Obama's wife. You probably know it already, man. Who doesn't know this? Obama's uh, quote unquote wife, Michelle Obama, is from Chicago, Illinois. She is from Chicago, Illinois. She also attended Harvard University. I think that's where she met uh, Obama. So, uh, the craziest thing I recently found out, man. You guys get ready to be mind blown, man. <laughs> And guess what? Michelle Obama in Cardin numerology is 44. Michelle Obama in Cardin numerology is 44. Man, what are the odds, man? What are the odds Michelle Obama got married to the 44th president? Her name in Cardin numerology is 44. Man, what are the odds? They do it by their numbers every single time, man. What are the odds? Just stay with me, man. I have quite an information for you guys. Um, and as I've been saying in a couple of my videos, Michelle Obama was from O Block. Michelle Obama was from O Block, man. She's from O Block. Basically, we all know who's also from O Block, man. You also know who is from O Block, man. It's basically the Don himself, Ken Vaughn. Kim Vaughn is from O Block. And if you've been following my series, I made mention of his name, the DD, connecting back to D, the fourth letter of the alphabet. DD. So basically the 44 embedded in Kim Vaughn's name. And also Leo Dex's name. The DD. You get what I mean? If you've been following my videos, man, my 44 uh the mysterious stranger videos such things are not supposed to be hard for you to comprehend man because you you know where i'm trying to get at so the dd the 44 the mysterious stranger and when it comes to the music aspect of things uh what am i tongue twisting when it comes to the music aspect of things the guy who basically plays a role as the mysterious stranger is low deck. I know it sounds dumb, but just stick with me. The role of the mysterious stranger is low deck because he has so many connections to Barack Obama. If been following my series, I've made so many connections to Barack Obama on basically I told you guys um one of low deck's ops, FBG Dog, died on Barack Obama's birthday in Chicago, Illinois. In Chicago, Illinois, one of Lodex uh, ops, which was also uh, Kim Vaughn's op, FBG Dog, died on uh, basically Obama's birthday, man. You can't make this shit up. And now, uh, as I stated, Obama, the 44th president, his name, Obama, Obama, Obama. Low Dex record label's name is OTF Obama OTF back to O Block O Block where Michelle Obama is from man <laughs> man these guys know what they are doing man they do things to the tiniest of details taking in coincidences things I bet ninety percent of the public would take this shit lightly man. Obama, Michelle Obama from O Block, Kim Von from O Block, Kim, Kim Von's record label, OTF, <laughs> Lil Deck, OTF, basically the owner of OTF. Why the O, man? Why the O? Why the O? That's a question I'm supposed to be asking. You should be baffled by this, to be honest with you. The O, the O, the O, OTF, O Block, Obama. 
Man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy how these people do their things, man. It's, it's all embedded in your court, as I've always been saying. Don't take things lightly, like he sacrificed his brother, he sacrificed his father, just for money and fame, that's all. If the occult knowledge wasn't meaningful to them enough, they wouldn't still be in it, to be honest with you. It goes deeper, man. It goes really, really deep. Let me keep going, man, to help you guys comprehend. So the information I just spoke of is Obama... O block and the OTF. Obama, O block and the OTF. Obama got to, uh, sorry, uh, got married to Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama is from O block. O block is the same place Kim Von is from. Kim Von was signed to the record label OTF, which is owned by Leo Deck. You see the connections, people. You see the connections. Man. <laughs> I just hope you guys are not saying I'm making this shit up, man. Because I just hope there's someone watching this video who basically understand where I'm trying to get at, man. Because all these things are not just mere coincidences. They are not mere coincidences. Okay, right now on the topic of Lil Dex family, Lil Dex brother recently passed away on the seventh of June. We, the information came out that he passed away on the seventh of June. Just hang with me. I'm about to show you guys something. And if you've been following um uh a couple of my videos I've been doing on um how do you call it? How do you call it? Um Leo Deck, Pushai T and Ken Vaughn. The next information will help you guys, man. It will basically blow your minds, man. Help you comprehend how the game is being played on the parts. Of these two brothers these two brothers bro Lil dex big bros uh basically death was a whole sacrifice i don't need to say much man we all know how these people work we all know um the things that happen when you're around Lil deck man it's basically a sacrifice and also it's basically another twin sacrifice the two brothers which goes deep biblically Cain and abel uh, Jacob and Esau, basically, Jesus and the, the Satan, the whole ritual, man, the two brothers, it goes really deep, man, I don't need to say much, the two brothers, one need to die, one need to stay, I've already made a video on the twin rituals, it was also, bro, a twin ritual, man, but someone would say, ah, you already made mention the twin rituals of Kim Vaughn and Lode, why do they also have to have another twin ritual, bro, it's the occult, man. Sacrifice day in and day out. Bro, you don't need to say much. I don't sorry, I don't need to say much, man. It's the occult, man. The two brothers, man. I had to research basically countless times to verify the information. Basically to find out that Low Dex that actually gave birth gave birth uh sorry. Gave birth to only two sons or what whatsoever, man. The two brothers, the twin rituals. I've told you guys, the one who has the 33 has to stay alive. The one who has the 33 has to stay alive. I've told you, if you've not seen my twin rituals video, try and watch it. You're going to comprehend. Lord Deck is equal to 33. Uh, Deck, Derek is also equal to 33. You get what I mean? A sacrifice for his precious son. His beloved son. His beloved son. And if you been reading the um sorry if you've been reading the bible basically isaac had two sons he loved one of them and man <laughs> man it goes deep man their call takes so much knowledge from the bible but never really pay respect to the god of the bible you get what i mean man let me just keep going so basically in case you didn't know uh, D thing, D thing. That's Lil Dex Big Bro. D thing was the CEO of OTF. He was the CEO of OTF because Lil Dex basically allowed him to manage the things of OTF. You get what I mean? He allowed him to manage the things of OTF, and man, it's crazy. It's really crazy, man. And now let's go to the numerical side of things. I've told you guys in a video I did. Uh, I think on Kim Von was most definitely a sacrifice for OTF. I told you guys, only the family 
which is the full meaning of OTF is equal to 66 in Pythagorean numerology. Only the family is equal to 66 in Pythagorean numerology. And bro, guess what? The news of Kim Von's big bro's death came on June 6th. June 6th, which is basically 6-6. And I told you guys, only the family is 66. The news came on basically came out six six and i told you guys otf d thing was the ceo of otf you, you get a connection otf 66 the news came out six six the ceo basically was killed on six six which basically connects back to 66 OT, you get this i don't need to say much man i don't need to say much man i don't need to say much and I hope you've been, you've stuck with me to this part of the video. If you really want to comprehend where I'm trying to get out with this episode of the number 44, the mysterious stranger. Man, let me keep going, man. I don't need to say much. And guess what again? OTFD thing. Lil Dex brother died in front of Club O. Club O. Club O. I told you guys about uh, Obama, O Block, OTF, and his big bro was killed in front of Club O. Why the O? O for Obama. <laughs> Why the O? O for Obama. You can't make this shit up, man. You can't make this shit up, man. These guys are just they are sneaky bastards, man. You don't think the occult means just sacrificing blood rituals, this and that. If there's no hidden knowledge in the occult, I bet you 50% of all those who are indulged in the occult wouldn't be indulged in the occult. If they had no secret knowledge or power, trust me, they, they won't be uh, indulged in the occult, man. I don't, I don't lie to you, man. Lord Dex family, I don't know, I don't need to say much. It's whole family. Is indulged in the occult. Let me let me keep going to help you understand more connections of the O Obama to basically Lord X family man. I hope you basically understood where I I am at the moment, man. To be honest, with you I don't like to talk much in my in my personal life, but man, let me just keep going. I don't want to talk much to be honest with you. So yeah, he was killed in front of Club O. The news came out. He was killed when he was exiting the nightclub. He was killed in front of Club O. And in case you didn't know, Obama is a Muslim. Barack Hussein Obama. Hussein is a Muslim name. Barack Hussein Obama. Hussein is a Muslim name, man. He's basically... I, I, I don't know, man. He's a Muslim. I don't need to talk much. And in case you didn't know, Lil Deck is also a Muslim. In case you didn't know, Lil Deck is also a Muslim. Bro, you can't make this shit up, man. Lil, Lil Deck is basically the, the perfect candidate for the whole ritual, man. He's the perfect candidate, man, for the ritual. Because no artist has so much connections to Obama as Lil Deck. And if you've been watching, <laughs> if you've watched a few of the episodes... I made mention how uh, a couple of these Chicago rappers basically connected to the mysterious stranger in the act of numerology. I forgot to show you guys that Lil Baby looks exactly like the young Obama. Lil Baby looks exactly like young Obama, man. Let me just keep going. So Lil Dex's entire family are basically Muslims. When Ethan passed away, that's his casket when they were in the mosque. That's a little dead shit seated near his father, the father and son relationship. You get what I mean? He's the son who is close to his father. You get what I mean? Because you will get to that role soon. I'll get to that role soon. He's the the son who is very close to his father. Lil Deck. You get what I mean? He's beloved by his father. The beloved son. The beloved son. He's his father's son. <laughs> Obama was also his father's son. Barack Hussein Obama was also his father's son, man. Barack Hussein Obama... Man, <laughs> I don't need to say much. He was also his father's son. 
Now, check this out. Barack Obama Sr. Barack Obama <laughs> Jr. You get what I mean? You see, you see the connections. Barack Obama the first, Barack Obama the second. Barack Obama, that was Obama's dad. He was the first. Obama is the second. Down to Lil Deck. Lil Deck's dad is called Big Deck. You get what I mean? Big Deck. Big Deck. And Lil Deck is called Lil Deck. Bro, they are all their father's sons, man. You see the connection. Lil Deck is the perfect candidate, to be honest. He's the perfect candidate for all this. He has all the connections. Trust me, the occult is filled with knowledge, but bro, at the end, it's all for selfish reasons and man. Bro, I don't need to say much. I don't need to say much, man. And I'll be I'll be continue. I'll be <laughs> As I said, I, I don't like talking so much, but bro, I'll try my best to continue this series to help every single new viewer basically comprehend every single thing and where I'm trying to get at. So on the next episode, I'll be going really, really deep on certain things. So stick with me. But let me just give you a little things, uh, a little something I'll be talking about. And I think uh, during the reign of Barack Obama or so, there was uh, a movie series about the Bible, which premiered on, on I think, the History Network or so, a, a movie series on, online and basically about the Bible and blah, 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 so whatsoever. And the character which played Satan when Jesus was basically in isolation, when he was fasting and praying, the character they chose looked like Obama to the tiniest of detail. That's the guy in the hoodie. You get what I mean? So it caused so many controversies online that why did they use Obama, blah, blah, blah. You get what I mean? Man, I don't need to say much. It caused so many controversies. But you know how these guys play. You know how these guys play. It was done purposely for a reason. I told you guys, the 44, the number 44, the mysterious stranger. There's a chapter also called The Chronicles of the Young Satan. The Chronicles of the Young Satan. So stick with me, man. You guys have loads of information for you guys. The Chronicles of the Young Satan. The Chronicles of the Young Satan. We all know what happens when you're around Lil Deck. We all know what's basically going on, man. I don't need to say much, man. Stick with me, man. So, that, so I basically comp complete all the episodes for this series, man. I'm even short of words, man. I hope you comprehended everything I spoke of. I spoke about uh, Obama's connection to Lil Deck. Uh, uh, basically in... The Islam community, Obama is a Muslim, Lodek is a Muslim, the Club O, o Obama, OTF, um, the Club O, Obama, O Block, OTF, you get what I mean? I spoke on Lodek's uh, Big Bros, Sacrifice, so many things, man. I hope you comprehended everything, man. Please, if you don't comprehend anything, just leave your thoughts in the comment section, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I always say, man, stay vigilant, stay prayerful, stay focused. Man, I'll see you guys in our video. Peace.